Hey guys, everything check pro here, and today in this video we'll be speed testing the Mac OS Sierra GM version, or what people call it the gold mine version. So, the Mac OS Sierra GM version was available before a couple of days, and it's about 4.7 gigs. So, when you download that before you install it, and for your information, I was stuck in the beta uh, uh, 5, I think. Uh, I couldn't update to beta 6 and 7, both of them. So, I directly updated it from the beta 5 to directly to the GM version. So, it took me about an hour to download it with the slow download rate in my home. And then, before I actually, uh, this is, I think, after that, yeah, this one is before I updated. This is the Mac OS Syrup Beta 5 16A294A and I had about 68.9 gigs and then after I updated I am remaining I have got 73.86 gigs that's great a lot of cash clear and um, so you now have more free space if you're running other betas so you get more space that's great so what it is all about after you download it will install the helper and then you are ready to go so you just get the helper getting on and then you will just go to download so if you saw my previous video I speed tested from 2, 3, 4 and 5 so all these 4 uh, versions will be comparing right now so same thing we are gonna launch the Geekbench which is right here I guess so AJA system test was this read and write speed and then where is Geekbench yeah right here so we're gonna be doing the Geekbench test for this and I hope this version, the GM version of the Mac OS Sierra is the final version of any betas, no more betas, this will be the final version of the Mac and hence, you know, uh, this is the final uh, speed test of the actual Mac OS Sierra so this will be the final benchmark score for this version and this won't change most probably, my guess so the okay i'll uh, see you guys after the, the results are there and we'll compare it with the other versions so guys back after the geek bench and the aja system bench test what are what are you seeing are you really amused and i know it's really confusing to get through this but i'll look it out for you so this is first of all the beta 2 2153 single core and 4243 multi core score that was beta 2 then beta 3 gave a great jump from 2153 to 2546 and then to beta 4 this 5266 uh, a great jump from 2 to 3 and from 3 to 4 you have 25 46 to 25 83 right here and then 5266 to 5293 not much of a jump but a great jump then from beta 4 to 5 you have 2583 to 2592 and the multi core score also jumped from 5293 to 53, 5320. But I don't know why, for some strange reason, the GM score is quite less. I don't know why. 2583 and 2387, and 5293 to 5156. So now you are somewhere stuck between the beta 2 and the beta 3. You can see uh, there was a great jump here, but there is a great amount of dip here so I don't know what is really going on so let's close all this stuff and then we just keep the beta 5 for comparison I'm going to be running this speed test once more so let's give these guys a minimize and the AJA system benchmark gave me a write speed of 327.9 megabytes per second and a read speed of 336.6 megabytes per second so let's open up the others in the beta 5 you had 323.4 and 330.6 so the read and write speeds have gone up significantly so this is a great news so uh, we compared that from beta 4.3 to all the uh, versions were having a lower score so definitely we lost let's check beta 4 is definitely low 325.4 and 353.4 but the read speed is more in the beta 4 I don't know why but still not bad not much of a difference and in the beta 3 we have we don't have the AJA system benchmark so just till beta 4 so the AJA system benchmark is giving a great result in the read and write speed but I don't know why Geekbench didn't give me 
a great score. It's just 2387 and 5156 as compared to the beta 5 which is 2592 and 5320. So Okay guys, I'll be back after the Geek Geekbench, I'll close all the applications, everything, and then I'll try to run the Geekbench once more. See you then. So guys, I just redid the Geekbench test. So now the scores are far better, not much behind, but it is giving a single core score of 2589 and a multi-core score of 5347. So the multi-core score has obviously increased. I don't know why the single score score is just standing as the level of the beta 5. I don't know whether there have been some modifications or it's just my system because uh, anyway the battery is not up to the mark and uh, battery is showing a service battery so that might be another reason. Anyway I'm plugged into the power so that should not matter according to my guess but that's it this is the final Geekbench score for the uh, Mac OS Sierra GM or the gold mine version. So, I think Apple is doing a great job in, uh, in, in updating the uh, software status of all the laptops. So, that's great. With the newer Mac OS Sierra, we can expect that our Macs will be a bit faster than they have happened because I can clearly see that there are new features and the Mac is performing very well. And this Mac is the 2012 mid MacBook Air. So, already four years gone, still standing tall and getting new and new updates that's great according to me so that's it guys for today i'll see you in the next video please uh, update to the gm version if you already have the beta because i'm sure you may get a better score as compared to your beta 7 or 6 if you have one or if you're having the l capital and you could compare the geekbench with that so stay tuned guys until i'll catch you up in the next video until next time it's peace out.